What is up guys? Today we're talking about how to make a slow motion video in Premiere Pro. Let's go. Well, look who we have here today. Me. Chris Nicholas is in a tutorial video. I always do the tutorials by myself because Chris is super busy at work, but today I needed a subject, so I thought, why not? get the man himself who was actually a legitimate model. Fun fact, Chris was actually in the international Aldo shoes campaign in what, 2015? Actually, I had a body double. They wouldn't put my feet in it, they just put my face in it. Those aren't my feet. So I'm gonna get him to model for me and give me some of that tasty choreography. Let's work it. Oh, shit. Woo wee. All right, let's talk about um, how to get slow motion video. This video that you're seeing right now is shot in 24 frames per second or 23.976 frames no, per second. Okay. 24, 20, 25. Whatever frame rate your normal video is going to be, you need to shoot in a higher frame rate than that. So if you're shooting 24 frames per second, then you can shoot at 30, 60, 120. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take that 120 frames per second footage and you're going to interpret it down to a 24p timeline. So that is going to slow your footage down. In the old film days, there used to be something called over Cranking, which I guess technically this is still overcranking. We'll call it digital overcranking. I don't know if that's a thing. The key about making nice, smooth slow mo is acquiring more frames per second than you play back at. So if you acquire five seconds of video at 120 frames per second and you play it back at 24 frames per second, then your five video seconds of video gets stretched to about 25 seconds of video. So we're going to talk about the technical stuff when we get back to the office, but just real quick, let's talk about shutter speeds for a second. There's a couple of things you guys need to keep in mind when you're shooting higher frame rates, and that is your shutter speed. If you don't know what shutter speed is, we made a video about it, I will link it up here. If you're shooting 60 frames per second, you're going to want your shutter speed to be 1 1 25th of a second. If you're shooting 120 frames per second, Second, you're gonna want your shutter speed to be 1 2 50th of a second. An easy way to remember it is take your frame rate, multiply it by 2, and that's gonna give you your shutter speed. So 24 times 2 is 48. Round it up because most cameras don't shoot 1 40th of a second, so 1 50th of a second, and you're golden. And basically, that's just gonna give you a more natural looking motion blur. It is hot as frig. We're starving, so let's go shoot some B roll. Let's go shoot this montage with our actual model. Ready to give me the choreography, Chris? Work that body. It's juicy. Let's go. Okay, so now that we have our slow-mo video shot, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up in Premiere Pro. It's just easier to do this on the laptop at this point. As I mentioned earlier in this video, we have shot at a higher frame rate than what our regular video was shot at. So normally when we vlog, this here is being shot at 24 frames per second or 23.976 frames per second. So anything that you wanna slow down has to be shot in a higher frame rate. And then we're gonna interpret that footage down to whatever our timeline is set up for. So in this video, I'm going to use a 24p timeline. If you're shooting 30 frames per second, the same applies. Just set up your timeline for 30 frames per second. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up Premiere Pro. I'm using Premiere Pro CC. So I'm gonna come over here and go to new project. This is not the actual project file I've used for the B-roll. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes. So I'm just gonna call this Chris Slow Motion. Okay, import my footage by double clicking in the project window. I have just chosen a couple of clips here, for example. Um, so we're just gonna import those. Command A on the keyboard to select all, enter to hit import. And we will wait for a moment while those import into Premiere. Okay, as you guys can see right now, I only have imported the slow motion footage. I have not imported any of the vlogging footage. So I'm gonna set up my timeline for 24 frames per second, but I'm gonna show you guys how to change this 120 FPS and the 60 FPS and make it slow-mo. So what I'm gonna do here is make a new sequence. So I'm gonna hit new sequence, come over here to settings. I'm gonna change this to red camera. And for this video, I'm gonna make this a standard HD resolution. We shoot all of our vlogs in 4K, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna do it in 1080 because this computer doesn't really handle 4K that well. Up here, we're gonna go 23.976 frames per second. That is what this video was shot in. That's what all the initial vlogging was shot in. And we're gonna hit okay. 
Over here you can see in our bin where our footage is, we've got some clips here that are shot in 60 frames per second or 59.94 frames per second. And then we've got some video shot 120 frames per second or 119.88 frames per second. We're just gonna call it 60 and 120 because that's what it's called in camera. Well, the first thing I like to do is kind of organize my bin because usually when we make these videos, I have a lot of footage. I don't want them all to be tagged as the same color because once I interpret the slow motion footage, I'm not gonna know what's actually slow-mo and what's not. So all of my normal 24p clips, like my vlogging clips, I'll tag with the color blue. Then I will take all of my 60 frames per second video and I will tag that in a mango color. So I'm just gonna select all of these 60 frames per second. If you scroll over, you can see frame. there's like a frame rate area. That's where you'll be able to tell what frame rate your footage is shot in. I'm gonna control click here, go down to label, and I'm gonna set that to mango. So now all of my 60 frames per second is tagged in mango. I'm gonna do the same thing for my 120, except for I'm going to tag it in a forest color. If I double click on the 160, 160? Why do I keep saying that? If I double click on the 60 frames per second footage and play it back at normal speed, this is what it looks like. It looks like normal footage. It looks a little weird because the shutter speed is higher and there's more frames in there. So it looks a little funny, but it's normal speed. Again, as Chris mentioned, if you have five seconds of regular speed video shot in a higher frame rate, when you interpret that footage down, it's going to actually lengthen the clip out a little bit. So just make sure you know when you're shooting how much footage you're going to get, what you're shooting, what you need. This is getting very hot on my legs. So in order to change this footage to 23.976 frames per second, we're going to highlight all of the slow-mo clips. By I'm gonna click, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the end and hit shift, and that selects all of them. I'm going to right click or control click. I'm gonna come up here to modify, come down here to interpret footage, click on that. This window comes up, the only thing you need to worry about is underneath frame rate here, it says use frame rate from file. So that is whatever you shot that video in, that's the frame rate. We're gonna click assume this frame rate and we're gonna change this to 23.976 frames per second and hit enter. So now as you can see, where this used to say 60 frames and 120 frames per second, now it says 23.976. And if I double click on it and play it back, it is slow motion, ta-da! creamy. In order to put this into our timeline, we're just going to double click on one of these clips. We're going to find a part that we like. We're going to set an in point, I on the keyboard for in, press play. We'll take this whole piece, O on the keyboard for out, and then I'm going to send that down into my timeline by hitting comma. If you guys want to learn more about my favorite keyboard commands in Premiere, I have a video about it. I will link it up here and go check it out. It will save you tons of time in editing. So that is how you slow down your footage in Premiere Pro. I hope you guys have a lot of fun uh, shooting high frame rates, shooting some slow motion, go out there and practice and just spit everywhere nice. Try the 60 frames per second. If your camera shoots 120, try that. Maybe try both and compare and kind of get used to the look that both give you. So yeah, that is it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We will see you on the next one. Want a little light touch, little little salt bay, slow mo. <laughs> this humid bullshit is about as useless as tits on a bowl. Twenty eight degrees feels like thirty one. Eighty two point four degrees Fahrenheit.